because until God created that, and you can see that, and you can only see that because the one who created that made that, so you can see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So as a result, it's in him I live, it's in him I move, it's in him I have my being. I cannot do anything without the geovistic interventions of God. Are you in here? I can't move unless he tell me to move. I can't stop unless he tell me to stop. That's why David chimes in. David says, Lord, I need you to order my steps and my stops. I don't want to move unless you tell me to move. I don't want to stop unless you tell me to stop. Because the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Oh, y'all, y'all missed that. Look at your name and say, baby, I'm ordered by the Lord. So, brothers and sisters, that's the text. 10 through 12, in a nutshell. The end in view. My perspective while I'm being persecuted. My vision, what do I see? When all I see around me is chaos and catastrophe. Are you in here? And so here in the last section of our Beatitudes, we are hit with a very striking statement. Blessed are they which are persecuted. Y'all yeah. see that? For righteousness. Sick. Persecution in Greek. Persecution in Greek simply means to be mocked, to be ridiculed, to be criticized, to be ostracized, uh, to be uh, treated with hostility, to be martyred. This persecution uh, is for righteousness sake. So here I am, uh, 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 Pastor Dawson. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to live holy. I'm, I'm trying to please God. And you're telling me to expect persecution. I mean, I move with meekness. I'm a peacemaker, not a peace breaker. I show mercy. I've been mourning over the sins of other people. And I will still be persecuted. And can I help can I help down real quick? Verse number 11 says, they will verbally abuse me. And oh, it's in your Bible if you ain't tore it out. And torture me and slander my name. And here I am trying to serve the law. It's hard out here for a Christian. Yeah, I thought I was going somewhere else with you. Yeah, I am trying to serve the Lord, trying to give God the very best of my service. Try, uh, try, trying to pay my tithe with the few pennies that I have. Uh, come to church, hell at church, hell on the job, hell at home. Come on, huh? come on, help me, huh? Huh? Lord, where can I get some peace? Lord, where can I get some solace? Lord, where can I be free to lift up my hands without being condemned, without being ostracized, without being scrutinized? God, where folk going to just leave me alone and leave me be? Anybody ever been there? I'm talking to some real folk here this morning on this first Sunday of 2019 and I stopped by to tell you that you made it into 2019 not because God don't have some situations for you to enter into but he allowed you to start 2019 because I believe deep down in my spirit that this day marks the very best days of the best days of your life. It might not feel like but it's gonna happen because I believe by faith. My mom used to say, boy, I said, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama used to say, say, listen, son. Say, boy, I said, listen, say, uh, 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 boy, it's gonna rain outside. I said, mama, listen, what you talking about? I said, boy, it's gonna rain outside. I said, mama, it ain't a sun cloud in the sky. What, what, what are you talking about? Boy, I can, oh, boy, it's gonna rain outside because I can smell it. 
and I can feel it. And sure enough, it rained. Now here it is. I couldn't see it. Oh, man, y'all don't know what that Y'all don't understand what I'm talking about. I couldn't see it. I couldn't smell it. But my mama said that she could smell it and she could feel it. Come on, help me in here. Just because you can't smell it, just because you can't feel it, don't mean it's not going to happen. Every once in a while, God is going to put you in a situation where you can't do nothing but hang your hat on the fact that God says it. And since God says it, I believe it, and that settles it. Watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. So, Pastor, you telling me that that, that, that I'm going to be ver uh, uh, verbally talked about. Look at your name, say it happened last year. It's going to happen this year. Now, look at your name, say it's still all good. <laughs> Torture me, abuse me, scandalize my name, slander my name. They're going to dig ditches. Oh, it's right, it's right, it's right here. Huh? Now, now, here, now, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. They gonna use a different shovel this year than they did last year. Satan don't have any new tricks, he just come in new ways. Come on, help me in here, huh? So, huh? And so it's really the same thing, he just disguised it, disguised it in a different way. So Satan ain't going to dress up the same way this year as he did last year because his desire, his desire is to try to trip you up. Are you in here? Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. So you're saying, Pastor, that here I am trying to serve the Lord, be verbally abused, be tortured, folk going to slandalize my name. Uh, folk ain't going to show mercy, the same mercy that I've shown other folk. No, don't, 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 don't expect folk to be you. You just be you and let them be them. And you pray for them versus praying on them. Look at your neighbor and say, baby, learn how to be the bigger person. These are principles. These are principles. Be the bigger person. Watch this. And the answer to your question is yes. Said all that to get the one answer. Yes. Bishop Joseph Warren Walker, proud pastor, Mount Zion Baptist Church, Nashville, Tennessee. He says, dog. Don't bark at parked cars. Yeah. That's what I just said. Dogs, don't bark at parked cars. The only way to get a dog to chase you is you have to pick up your feet. Come on, help me in here. Huh? A dog ain't gonna bother you if you ain't doing nothing for him to bother you. So if you're sitting still and he's sitting still, why would he bother you? Okay, 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 okay. This is for the super science. Here it is. Can I put it in your lap? Satan ain't gonna bother you so long as you sitting in your seat quiet. He don't want you to say nothing. He tried to muzzle your mouth last year, and God allowed you to make it to this year. You need to let him know you should have killed me last year. You couldn't stop me last year, but 2019, this is my year to stand up and give God some praise. This is my year to open up my mouth, lay my head down, and say, for God I'll live, and for God I'll die. Watch this, watch this, watch this. I gotta get out of here. 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 People hate pe people. People hate righteous life. And the reason why people hate righteous life is because it exposes their own unrighteousness. I hear what I just said. People hate righteous life. They hate righteous living. They know it's right to live righteous, huh? But they find it. Better to live wrong slash right. Look at your neighbor and say, "Ooh wee." In other words, in, 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 in other words, in other words, 
we are comfortable straddling the fence. We're okay with, 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 with living a lukewarm life. Now we know what the Bible says and then we'll try to curtail it and justify it and say, well, Lord, you know I'm still a work under construction. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Somewhere you need to make up in your mind that you going to serve God and you're going to do away with all the messed up stuff. You're going to leave in the past the messed up things that you used to do because behold, all things are passed away. Behold, all things become brand new. So the question is, a new year should bring about a new you. In the midst of being persecuted. Lord have mercy. Look at your name and say, new you. For the new year. Watch this. Watch this. Verse 11. Verse 11. Uh, verse 11. And we're going to get out of here. Seems to be repetition. Pray for me, man. I think me and you don't want to get. Seems to be repetition. Of the preceding verse. However, there is one difference in the previous verse. The subject, you got your Bibles open? The subject was persecution because of righteousness. Here, it is persecution for Christ's name's sake. Look at your name and say it's right there in the text if you ain't tore it out. Huh? I'm righteous. Okay, I'm trying to live right. In a wrong world. Are you in here? How can you live right in a wrong? The best way to live right in a wrong world is to keep the right sights set on the Savior. Because when I look at you, I get discouraged. But when I look at him, he lifts my bow down head. When I look at you, all I see is my, come on, help me in here. All I can do is look and see my own brokenness. But when I look at him, he don't judge me for where I am. He judges me for what I shall become. So, three points here. We're going to rush through and get out of here. First point is, I have to be cognizant of who I am. Cognizant of who I am. I'm learning more and more about who I am. And the trials and persecutions are designed to strengthen who I am. Listen, you can't get away in this world without some form, some fashion of persecution. And that's all Jesus is saying. You, you're guaranteed to be persecuted. Whether it's from somebody else or from something. Come on, help me in here. Huh? You gonna feel like you're on an island all by yourself. Don't nobody know how you feel? Come on, here, huh? You pick up the phone, won't nobody answer the phone. You get down on your knees and pray. Anybody ever got down on their knees and prayed and got up with the same problem? Oh, y'all too holy in here, huh? Huh? It wasn't it, it, it what that God didn't answer your prayer. It's just somewhere between you getting down on your knees and you telling God about your problem. You entertain Satan versus really having a genuine talk with the Lord. Come on, help me here. And sometimes, brothers and sisters, God will say, wait a minute. I need you to go into the waiting room of life before I give you an answer. And it's all right as long as I'm waiting on him for an answer because God knows how to give me peace while I'm waiting. Watch this. I'm learning more and more about who I am. God is showing me. We out here. God is showing me who I am. I'm, I'm cognizant of who I am. I'm stronger. I'm wiser. 